Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check out your rising and moon and Venus for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. Cancer, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel, the likes, the comments. I'm truly grateful, especially the subscribes. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Weight deck, one card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck, and one card from the Angel Answers Oracle deck. So remember, ask a question. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Eight of Wands, Cancer, Fire Energy. This is Mercury in Sagittarius. Can represent a communication. Or something fast coming in, really fast. A communication, um, something that makes you really busy. It's exciting and hopeful time could be full of surprises and lots of opportunities. These, Some of these could even be once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, and it does carry a particular risk. So do not act cocky, or you may lose it. This is movement and action. It's a sudden burst of energy. It's a rapid and swift development with a conclusion. This can be sudden insights, one after another messages, positive things unfolding, the end of delay. It can be even air travel. It's changes on many levels, and it's becoming aware of intentions and motivations of yours and others. It's being in motion, and things that are already set into motion. It's being and staying energetically in the flow. And it's feeling the need to be up and doing things, activities, new beginnings. It's the end of a period of delay or stagnation. And now it's a time for action to begin. It's very busy and exciting. It can be travel and moves. This card highlights and intensifies all around it. This can also be a love affair, being in love infatuation, Cupid's arrows. It can be an instant attraction, a big crush. It could be you or someone close to you will be married. Or a love affair is about to occur or something sudden and unexpected. A new text message. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Cancer, number five of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Hierophant. This is Earth Energy. It could be a Taurus. Taurus could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is the card of the rule by conventional. It is a belief system. It can represent traditional Orthodox teaching that's considered suitable to the masses, like, you know, where only the High Priestess teaches only in secret to initiates. This can be a wise teacher or a mentor. It's wisdom revealed. This can be a relationship, a commitment, an acting respectable. This can be an assistance from a wise and helpful person and the urge to find spiritual meaning in life spiritual truth. It's living by a higher code of conduct. It can be organized religion and doing what is socially expected. It's conformity and tradition and following a conservative path. It's moral convictions, conformity to social expectations, licenses, certificates, a traditional standpoint. This card has also been known as the Pope or the teacher, or a counselor. This is making a vow and receiving a blessing. It's marriage and alliance and captivity. It's servitude and love through helpful doctrine. It's social institutions, particularly marriage or formal relationships. It's religious beliefs, 
formal doctrine. It's always doing it the same way. It's traditional. It's something that repeats a pattern. This can be a visionary or a group authority active in your life, and you feel loyalty to this group. There could be a judgmental quality involved. This card can sometimes suggest challenges or limitations of a spiritual nature, and this is nurturing spiritual awareness. It could be someone sharing knowledge in a structured way. It's a scholarly card. It could be starting a new endeavor. It also means social grace and blessings. This is a good card, signifying partnerships with someone with a good stabilizing influence that's about to enter. The Eight of Wands with the Hero Fent is movement or a message that involves tradition or conventional belief system. It can be a communication that is controlled. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Cancer. The Two of Wands, Fire Energy. This is Mars and Aries, the card of I want. The aspirations and having the world in your hand. It could be a decision between security and risk. Staying or going. Have you started something and now you're awaiting results? It may have to do with business success and future possibilities. It's creative tension and longing, and there's a new outlook. It has to do with your goals and planning and preparation. There could be opposing forces, like the staying or going, taking place within you or another person around you. And there is a potential ahead with progression and a feeling in charge, and there's going to be forward movement. It's enterprise and energy and growth. And the globe stands for future possibilities and finding your place in the world and deciding your next move. This can be a desire for travel. It's discovery and making decisions and leaving your comfort zone and exploring new life experiences. This can represent a feeling of restlessness and changes in the air. These are impulses that complement each other or work against each other, so you'll need to wait for your decision to mature and then act. It's doing things your way, and it's being strong-minded and pushing forward and knowing what you want. It's being an original and ignoring distractions to get ahead. You could be creating something new and exciting and forging alliances. The Eight of Wands with the Two of Wands is moving projects forward. It's taking advantage of exciting energy to expand. This can be a navigator or even moving. Your fourth card is the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Four of Swords, Cancer, Air Energy. This is Jupiter in Libra, representing mental expansion through rest. This is taking a break, taking some time out to meditate, think things through, and gather up your strength. Jupiter always brings a lot of something. Maybe you need a lot of rest. This is a healing and recuperation and planning your next moves and planning them wisely and keeping some of those plans to yourself. But soon there's going to be a change for the better. And there will be a relaxation of anxiety. It's like a vacation. This is contemplating your next move. Could be in a separation or a break. But this is a needed rest to gain back your strength. And you should be taking it easy. And stop and settle your spirit in order to rest after a hard time. And think over a problem so you can make the right decision. This can be a rest and retreat after a struggle and a quiet period for thinking things through. This can be a time of convalescence, meditation, allowing yourself some peace and quiet and relaxing so that your mind can focus on the issue. There is a silver lining. It's you that's in control. 
This is stabilizing the wounds that were received in the Three of Swords. It's recovering your strength, healing sleep and dreams, being hungry for quiet. So hang out that do not disturb sign. And now this is the end of conflict and being detached from drama. It's tying up loose ends and stabilizing. It can also represent a hospital stay. The Eight of Wands with the Four of Swords is a choice or a decision that takes you by surprise, or a leap to action is swiftly taken after taking a long time thinking about it. This can also represent the Internet, Telecom, even YouTube. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Cancer. Here's your card. Number 18 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Moon. Here you are, Cancer. Standing strong within your own power in your reading here. It's you that's in control. And that's also what the Four Source says. This is a card that represents the personal self, and it deals in the realm of imagination, the subconscious dreams and intuition. It's sleep and dreams. This can represent a deception or an unforeseen peril, bringing in some insecurity and illusion. Those are yods hanging around underneath the moon, 15 of them, linking it back to the devil. This can be secret foes, exploring the inner unknown, fantasies and dreams. The moon's reflected light has always aroused strange passions, and the moon brings out the animal and the primeval side in us. These are very deep fears we can never name, for they come from within ourselves. Such fears never entirely surface, and they always sink back again. And if we accept this strange side of us, the moon will calm as well as arouse. These are fears and anxieties, but also fantasies even psychic talent. It's feelings and responses to these feelings. You may feel moody or face some emotional tests. This has to do with imaginations and dreams and changeabilities and going with the flow. It's being creative and imaginative. It's being empathetic, emotional, artistic, or even easily influenced. It could be misunderstood. You may be experiencing fluctuations or delving into emotions, sensing or exploring other dimensions, dreaming, fantasizing, facing those emotional tests, even behaving erratically, and discovering that not everything is as it seems. It's because you're only seeing half of the information. It's something that's not meant to see right now, but you are on the right path. And this is the end of a major cycle, but things are still changing. It's mutable or dreamy qualities in relationships, romance, and communion of the souls. This is a metamorphosis within the self. And it's time to look inward and examine personality traits, because change is possible from deep within. This can be qualities of others that are masked for good or bad. You'll need to examine contracts and projects for hidden meanings behind the written or spoken words. This is a heightened sense of awareness possible. It's a time to work with the moon's energies. It represents your emotional nature. It's confronting beer fear faced based on a past experience. The Eight of Wands with the moon is a powerful energies to follow your hunches with chance and opportunities. The Hierophant with the Two of Wands is a traditional planning, it's weighing pros and cons, it's conforming and going along with the group and wanting change. The Hierophant with the Four of Swords can represent a hospital stay and doing what is expected. The Hierophant and the Moon card, these energies go really well together. It's following a path or a vocation after a long preparation. This can be a late-started person that continues on long after most people would have stopped. It's relationships, fears and insecurities, even secrets. 
It can be a good foundation that is well used. The Two of Wands with the Four of Swords is reflecting on creative choices and resting. The Two of Wands with the Moon card is taking action on illusions you can't see clearly. It's deciding if your path, if you're on your correct path, can also represent a mysterious place. The Four of Swords with the Moon card is putting to rest fears and anxieties. It's developments that may actually be transforming your life. And now for your Sacred Destiny Oracle card by Denise Lynn. Cancer, you've got Stand Still. Stand Still, Cancer. That is Swamplands. A swamp is a low-lying area with woody plants, shrubs and trees, where water collects and saturates the ground. During rainy seasons, swamp lands become overwhelmed with water. The edge of the swamp is often a quagmire of mud and silt, but an abundance of plants and swamp, swamp insects dwell there. Because of the sticky nature of the mud, it is often impossible to walk through the swamp lands. Even trying to maneuver with a boat can be difficult and treacherous because of dense ve vegetation. However, there is a great value in swamp lands. They act as a natural flood control, as a runoff that can be temporarily stored in their basins. They keep the land around them from washing away. Lush, lush vegetation provides a haven for nesting birds and waterfowl, as well as habitat to mammals such as beaver. Freshwater swamps near the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers in the Middle East are part of the fertile crescent and contribute to the fertility of the land for the earliest humans. The Sacred Landscape wants you to know that if it feels that some areas of your life has slowed down or even come to a standstill, you are right. Something is not progressing, even if it seems like things are flowing. Look beneath the surface. Perhaps something is immovable. The first step to becoming unstuck is to acknowledge where you are. The soul loves the truth. In life you can either say, there are no weeds, there are no weeds, or you can notice the weeds and begin pulling them out. Notice what isn't working in your life, and then take slow, steady steps to unblock the barriers. In nature, when one is being sucked into the mud, the worst thing to do is struggle. The best thing to do is slowly and carefully, one step at a time, eradicate yourself, Extra, er, extricate yourself. And now for your answer, Cancer. From the Angel Answers Oracle Deck by Radley Valentine. And your answer is no. That is definite. Definitely a no. You may gather additional information by asking another question surrounding this issue, and then we'll draw you another card. And if you want to make a comment in the comments. I'll draw you another card. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.